Hello, precious standards. It is Lakidra. Thank you all so much for joining me, people of God. You know, it doesn't matter what you are going through, what is up the road, and what is troubling you right now. We are going to praise God through it all. Praise Him through it all, people of God, because He is with you through the waters, the fires, through the flood. And so you know what Peter tells us in chapter 4, First Peter, in verse 12, he says this, Dear friends, don't be surprised at the fiery trials you are going through. And so this means even in your marriage, people of God, even in your household, whatever it is you are facing, the apostle Peter is saying to you, don't be surprised at the fiery trials you are going through as if something strange were happening to you. In verse 13, he says, instead, be very glad. He says, be very glad. Why? For these trials make you partners with Christ in his suffering so that you will have the wonderful joy of seeing his glory when he is revealed to all the world. So the trials is to help us make heaven. They are to help you make heaven. So when Christ comes back, he says, you will have the wonderful joy of seeing his glory when it is revealed to all the world. So the trials are for your own good. But God at the same time will deliver you out of them all while you are here on this earth. But they are preparing you for heaven. Think about that. Oh, praise the Lord. But then he says in verse 14 though, so be happy when you are insulted for being a Christian. For then the glorious spirit of God rests upon you. So he says, be happy when you are insulted for being a follower of Christ Jesus. For being one of his. See, the trials come up against those who are Christ. Those that belongs to him. These trials is to keep you in his hands. It's to keep you close with God. We are being prepared for heaven. So everything that the enemy meant for evil, it is only for your good. It is for your good and it is pre preparing you for the end times of the Lord's coming. So these trials are really for our good. They are to help us. So count it all joy, people of God. This is going to only build that fellowship between you and the Holy Spirit. Not only will he rest upon you, but you will rest upon him. You will lean upon him because that's what happened with Paul. When they was going through, look at what he says in 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 7. He says, we are confident that as you share in our sufferings, you will also share in the comfort God gives us. So God will comfort you through it all as well, people of God, while you are going through by the Holy Spirit. Remember, he is our comforter. But then it says in verse 8, we think you ought to know, Paul says, dear brothers and sisters, about the trouble we went through in the province of Asia. We were crushed and overwhelmed beyond our ability to endure. And we thought we would never live through it. Isn't that how you may be feeling, people of God? So overwhelmed. You don't feel like you have the ability to endure. And as Paul says, we thought we would never live through it. And you know, we all know those moments. Going through what we've been going through in our marriages and what we've been facing and 
all the troubles that has come along with it has brought you to a place to where you don't know if you can go ever even make it through it but this is what he says we thought we would never live through it in fact we expected to die but as a result we stopped relying on ourselves and learned he learned something we learn how to rely only on god who raises the dead and so th that's what these trials do they, they they help you to learn how to rely upon god causing that close fellowship it causes the holy spirit to be able to better rest upon us because we learn to rely upon him through the troubles it draws you closer to him many of you i'm sure can testify and say lakidra you know since i've been going through this i've never been so close to god as i am now why because that's what the trials are designed to do draw you close to god they are preparing you for heaven to be your home you belongs to god you are christ and he knows that it's going to take the trials to get us to draw close to God and rely upon Him. You are everything to Him. You were bought with a price. And so the trials help us to rely and trust upon God and builds our relationship with Him, the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. This is how the Holy Spirit is able to introduce Himself to us. It's through the troubles. That's when He comes. That's when the Holy Spirit rests upon you, Peter says. Meaning, this is how you come to know the Holy Spirit who will be with you. Who will be with you in the troubles. Who will be with you, the Lord says, forever. Hallelujah. This is, he is who the Lord had to rely upon. Praise the Lord. And so, Paul the Apostle tells us, we learn to rely upon God who raises the dead. And in verse 10, he says, and he did rescue us from mortal danger. And he will rescue us again. We have placed our confidence in him. And he will continue to rescue us. Oh, praise the Lord. You know, this is what happened with Abraham and Sarah. This is how they learn how to trust God. It was through the troubles after seeing God deliver them out of the hands of Pharaoh and again out of the hands of King Abimelech and out of the times when they were in famine this is how Abraham was able to trust God this is how their faith grew and so this is why the trials come to build our faith to help us they are to help us trust and rely upon God who will deliver Paul the apostle said who in fact delivered us as a result of us relying upon him learning how to trust him so the trials is to help us trust God they are to teach us how to rely upon him and this is how you will see God raise up that situation in your marriage people of God and whatever you are going through right now these are the things that is what going to cause you to trust God and see him come through for you every time Paul the apostle says he says and you are helping us by praying for us then many people will give thanks because God has graciously answered so many prayers for our safety so the troubles help us to pray and God answers in those moments hallelujah when you have nowhere else to go when you have no one else to rely upon when, when you when you are now faced with troubles that only God can get you out faith comes praise the Lord hallelujah the prayers of faith the prayers of faith come out of you they pour out of us out of our innermost being when we have nowhere else to go and turn and he goes on and tells us 
in verse 12 he says and we can say with confidence and a clear conscience that we have lived with a God-given holiness and sincerity in our dealings we have depended on God's grace not on our own human wisdom that is how we have conducted ourselves before the world and especially towards you and so through it all Paul the Apostle is telling us something that it caused spiritual growth through the trials it caused them to have faith in God they learn how to rely upon him it has developed their character it has caused the power of God to be seen in their lives by others and so the Lord knows just what he is doing people of God he is doing a work in us you know our Lord Jesus Christ it was through his trials he also learned how to rely upon God the Bible tells us in Hebrews chapter 5 even though Jesus was God's son it tells us in verse 8 he learned obedience from the things he suffered and so so much come out of our sufferings that we go through in life they are to help us and God is going to deliver you out of that situation through it all through it all and then the Bible says in this way God qualified him as a perfect high priest and he became the source of eternal salvation for all those who obey him and God designated him to be a high priest in the order of Melchizedek and so he was promoted the trials the trials brought promotion and caused him to bring others in and brought so much reconciliation brought salvation it was through his trials and sufferings that qualified him and caused him to be promoted into the place and the position that God needed him to be so the trials that we go through in life something good is coming out of them all as God rescued our Lord Jesus Christ he's certainly going to rescue you people of God there are coming great things out of what we have all gone through and remember what his word tells us in Colossians chapter 1 verse 19 for God in all his fullness was pleased to live in Christ and through him God reconciled everything to himself the one who was our high priest people of God the Lord Jesus Christ is what brought reconciliation between people and God and through him God reconciled it says everything to himself and he made peace with everything in heaven and on earth by means of Christ's blood on the cross believing in the blood of Jesus Christ people of God that shall bring reconciliation reconciliation between you and your spouse as well if this same blood brought us back to God who was far away from him because of our evil thoughts and our minds that needed to be renewed and the sin that had us bound the blood of Jesus broke that power broke that hostility that was in us broke the power of the enemy that had us broke it and caused us to come to Christ hold on to this and stand firm on the blood stand firm in this truth about God's blood reconciling all things hallelujah back to him reconciling your spouse back to him bringing reconciliation even in your marriage causing healing and deliverance and restoration to be in that dead situation this is what you must continue putting your trust in rely upon the one who raises the dead hallelujah this is why 
they saw deliverance because they relied upon God. And as you and I relied upon him, not man, not putting our trust in our own strength, but relying upon the power of his blood, relying upon God, the one who raises the dead and can raise any situation. Hallelujah. But as you go through the trials, they are going to help you learn how to trust in God. When you have nowhere else to turn but to God. And as a result of it, God is going to deliver you out of it all. Praise the Lord. Get ready for what is coming your way, people of God. Restoration and healing and deliverance is coming your way. Through all the trials that you are going through right now. They are going to help you learn how to rely upon God and see him come through for you while they are also preparing you for heaven to be your home. So much is coming out of this godly character, faith, love, all the fruits of the Holy Spirit and even a closer relationship with God. There is only coming blessings. Yes, what the enemy meant for evil. God is only going to use it all for your good. These things are going to cause you to cry out to the one who is your deliverer from all evil. Praise the Lord. That spouse of yours is coming out. The one that you are standing in the gap for. The one that you are pleading to God on the behalf of. And the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. That you trust in. Is bringing that same reconciliation between you and your spouse. That brought that reconciliation back between you and God. That brought healing and restoration and deliverance in your life. And renew your mind. And cause your character to be in the image and the likeness of God. It's the same power we are trusting in. To do the same for our loved ones. Hallelujah. As for me and my house, people of God, we are serving the Lord. As for you and your house, you are serving the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus and through the blood and the resurrection power of God's holy might. The Holy Spirit is with us and he is changing us all and he is changing us through it all. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. There is coming great deliverance and power. So the word of God, the word of God is showing us that don't think it's something strange you are going through alone. Every one of us have gone through this. This is part of the process. This is part of the process. This is a part of the journey that we all are on with our Lord. We are sharing in his sufferings. But just as God delivered him, he's going to deliver you. We are his body. And he is the head of us, the church, which is his body. We are followers of him. Hallelujah. And we who are sharing in his sufferings shall also share in his glory. You are going to see God. So continue trusting in him. You are coming out of this situation, people of God. Hallelujah. There is coming restoration and reconciliation through the blood of Jesus. But remember, we must continue holding on. Holding on, believing this truth and stand firm on it. Stand firm on what the blood of Jesus has already done for you, people of God. Hallelujah. The power of darkness is broken. It has already been destroyed. Now you stand firmly on that truth. Hallelujah. And rely upon the one who raises the dead. Rely upon him who is raising up that dead situation in your marriage. In the mighty name of Jesus. And now we are going to pray. Oh we thank you Lord God. Hallelujah for this resurrection power and grace. Thank you Lord that through it all we have learned. And are learning how to trust and rely upon you. And not our own strength. And lean not to our own understanding. But acknowledge you with all our heart. All our soul and mind and strength. And all that we do so that you will lead and guide and direct our path praise your name thank you for helping us and showing us how to surrender and yield and enter into your rest god praise your name thank you lord god for renewing our strength helping us oh god praise your name giving us comfort and peace thank you lord god hallelujah 
for helping us through it all. We thank you, Lord God, that weeping only endures for a night, but joy is surely coming in the morning. You are hearing and answering our prayers. We love you and adore you, Father God. And thank you, Lord God, for your people that have also sown into the work. Lord, may you continue blessing the works of their hands. I pray over their seed, Lord, that it be multiplied, that you will remember their good deeds forever as you promised in your word. Open up doors for them, Lord God, that has been shut. May you bless them, Lord God. May you prosper them in all that they do in the mighty name of Jesus. And Father, I thank you for every standard that has joined me in prayer. We all come together in agreement saying amen, amen, and amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God, that you are with us. We praise you. We bless your holy name. Hallelujah. Trust in him, people of God. That is the key. He will deliver you. Hallelujah. Remember that God loves you, and I love you too. And until next time, bye-bye.